hi guys in this video i'll be telling you how to install cidroid 8.6 for mi 11x redmi k40 the poco f3 the prerequisites are you need an unlocked bootloader and you should be in miui or any custom roms and if you are in a custom rom flash 13.0.2 firmware or higher and remove your password and security if you are in miui remove your mi account if you are in google accounts if you are in aosp remove your google accounts once all of them are done, you can do a reboot and you need to have these three files in your internal storage which is the CR.8.6 ROM zip, Nick G apps and the TWRP image. In case you don't want to flash Google apps, you don't need to flash Nick G apps. Now once you have all the required files, you can reboot into recovery by clicking on reboot and keep on pressing your power up button until your phone reboots into TWRP. So once your TWRP is booted, you can go ahead into wipe, advanced wipe, select your Dalvik art and cache, then you can swipe to wipe. You can go to home, install, you can search for your ROM zip and select it. Uh, if you want, you can select automatically reflash TWRP or you can even uh, flash it after the, ROMs get, after the ROM is flashed. So I'll be doing Ali flashing TWRP after the ROM is flashed, so you can swipe to confirm flash now. So well, when you, once, you, once your RAM is flashed, you can check for any errors and these failed to mount errors can be ignored. And you can go into Home, Advanced, select your recovery RAM disk and swipe to install your recovery. Well, once your recovery is flashed, you can check for any errors and these failed to mount errors can be ignored. You can go into Home, Reboot and select your recovery. So now once your recovery has booted, you can go into install and you had to install your uh, Google Apps and if you want to install your Google Apps, you can use USD or OTG or install it in the before booting your recovery. So I don't want the app, so I'll be going into wipe format data and type in yes. So once your format data is successful, you can click on reboot system. In case you get any error like no is installed, you can just ignore it so well the ROM has booted now let me just do a quick setup so well the ROM has booted and this is how CRTOR 8.6 looks like and it is with 120 hertz and let's check the kernel they are using and the CRTOR version is 8.6 and Android version is 12.1 and it isn't showing 12.1 because it's an error. And the kernel version they're using is Infinar kernel file audit and they have good animations and these are the right settings which can be have in look. and unlock higher FPS in games so I guess you'll be getting 90 FPS options in some games and that is all for this ROM and if this video helped you on how to install this ROM you can like share and subscribe bye